All right, today we're continuing our MW3 day one strategy guide for search and destroy. This time we're moving on to high rise, a new map in the beta. And we're gonna be talking about an aggressive A side defensive push uh, that a lot of teams used back all the way in 2009. This time we're gonna be looking specifically at team AOX. You may know Clayster and Aix, they were on this team. And we're gonna be talking about what they were doing in the round, why they were doing it, and how you can use it uh, for your game in MW3 once the game drops. So once again, excuse the quality a little bit. It is 2010 gameplay, so we're going way back to the VODs for this one. Uh, and they don't have a minimap actually on the spectator mode for the old MW2. So I'm just gonna be taking you through all the point of views and basically drawing out for you later on as showing you guys what they're doing because you're not gonna be able to see what they're doing on the minimap currently. So as you can see here, Croaster is our first player. He's gonna be our more aggressive player. So the SMG on your team that likes to go on these flanks, that's gonna be him in this play. And he's using Marathon here and he's just hugging this left side wall he throws his tax his semtex and his stun to make sure anyone that's pushing towards this a street is completely stunned if they're pushing fast uh, and he's just going to play this corner and he's just going to be playing ratty here just trying to take a little bit of space each time and eventually try and go for a flank and activate on what his teammates see on the map so that he can try and get some free kills on the flank for our next player we're going to be seeing aches on the a bomb as you see aches slayer on the screen uh, this spot has actually been patched by the game so you can't really crouch and play this little tight corner in a and what he's doing he's bobbing up and down so you can see mid map as well so you can't play the spot anymore unfortunately uh, we're gonna have to see if you can play at some type of similar spot but I would assume you'd play in this sort of corner here instead play a tight corner so you can't be seen on anyone that might be climbing ladder trying to get to the bomb but you can still defend the site if they get on it and also watch mid map so I'll show you a spot later on when I'm starting to draw it out uh, where you can play instead of this and as you see here he bobs up and down he can see mid map if he you know, turns and he's just completely covering uh, that a site and then sinister he's the third player here he's gonna go and take a route from the underground to this box heady and watch for anyone that might be pushing towards this b side so you know i'll show you the route that he takes but it's a really quick route as you can see he's running marathon and lightweight uh, we're gonna have to check the timings once mw3 comes out but it's still possible probably with the new movement where you can actually see if anyone on the offense is coming through the underground area with him but then bypass that go towards here and then see if anyone might be pushing towards the b side especially if if they're playing slowly on their offense he can for sure get to the spot and as you see here he gets this kill and then he can wrap back towards the underground because that's still open now because he was able to check at the beginning of the round but once he gave it up uh, no one's watching it so he can now go back towards underground make sure that no one was pushing towards there and our last player is going to be clayster and i don't think he gets any screen time here but he's going to be watching the b side push through from uh, it's the same angle that i showed you in that sky rise video in the offices but then he can actually start pushing up you know towards that left side window and maybe even go underground i think he actually does that in this round where he starts pushing towards the left side trying to catch anyone slipping towards this left side here and he can giant peek and, and get a kill that way but for the most part if you don't get that first blood like sinister did you know just keep holding that left side from the office making sure that they can't get to that b site for free I'll show you quickly another example of them doing pretty much the same play. Again, Krauser using Marathon, getting up to this right street, and then he's gonna start moving and activating towards uh, the flank. But as this is happening, you know, he's taking his time, making sure that no one's here, and then he's gonna start moving based on the info that his team is getting. He knows that no one's at this right street, so he can start playing these timings and making sure that he's flanking, you know, underground here, making sure that he sees anyone towards this green hut area, and then going and activating and, you know, sitting in corners, making sure that he has all of this info for his team you know he can relay everything to his team at this point and make sure that they're watching only things that need to be watched so this is going to allow aches to be in a little bit different position because now he's playing the elevators rather than just on the bomb site because uh he has his mid for him so now aches can move over here because the right street is a little bit more open now because as you saw he's playing in this corner so technically this a street is open so sinister is going to be playing a tight corner under the, the stairs here you know once again i don't know if this type of position in mw3 is going to work just because you can get cameraed super easily with the slide Lighting. So this might be a free kill, but if you can play a little bit of safer position, and then this is also going to allow Clay to just watch his flank. So because there is a timing for them to go through this blue hallway to the right underneath underground, this is going to force Clay to watch the underground area from this position. See, he's in the office right here, and he's literally just proning, making sure that they're not on the flank. So now everything is covered for them on the defense. And this is just how your team can adjust based on, you know, what info you're getting, especially with that activator towards that A street where Krauser was heading. So from the overhead, we'll draw it out for you 
you guys. This is the defensive spawn over here. We're going to have our first fast SMG hug this left wall, and he's going to be playing, you know, first this corner, throw his tax over, and then play this second corner here. And then eventually, if he wants to start activating and making his way around here, maybe play like this sort of corner, but making that move and activating based on the info that you're getting from the rest of your teammates on the map. Then you have Aches over here. He's going to take this route, play this little corner here. Again, you can't really play this corner anymore. So I would expect it to be easier just to play this corner here. So you technically don't have this hop up, but you can just keep peeking, making sure that they don't get on the bomb site over here and you can still watch your mid from this. So I think that's the best option for right now until we see how everything evolves and you know whether you can mantle some things in the side bomb site. So for right now, I would use this spot and the Sinister third player, he's gonna be another fast player going underground and then taking this route uh, to the box heady and he can watch the B cross from this. So really important that he throws some sort of attack over here, making sure that he can at least get to this position and make sure that they're not quickly pushing through the underground because he has that info first for this team. But once he gets to this B side, he's playing this heady now and he's locking down uh, this entire left side if they're playing super slow on their offense. And lastly, you didn't get to see this on screen, but I believe uh, Clayster was playing this type of spot that I showed you back in the Skyrise video. He can play this little desk over here so he can see anyone and that might be coming this way onto the bomb site. So he, it's a really nice cross. You're pretty protected from this wall and the heady that you can use on the desk and really make sure that you can see because you're basically that lone player towards that B side until this third player can get to this position. So you're holding down that site. And if you do see people coming towards that site, you know, you're coordinating and communicating with your teammates to start pushing through, going on these flanks to merely stop their push and really make them worry about their flank because you can hold this down uh, by yourself and at least get shots off before they're able to plant onto the bomb and really get that site control. And like I was saying before, you have a lot of options on what you want to do in any of these positions. So if you want to be, you know, the flanker over here and just play this corner for a little bit and then start activating, you can either go underground, start helping out your teammate. If you want to go super fast and you think they're camping in their base, you can go inside their base and flank like that. Or like Krauser did in the video, you can take this timing, try and get into this corner and really cut off mid from this. And then eventually maybe a flank around here towards this B side. And like we were talking about with Aches, if you're playing, let's say this corner now, because you can't play the other corner and watching mid, if this other guy has already pushed through towards mid, you can now play, you know, the elevator corner, play super ratty over here, or play one of these other ratty corners in the site and really try and deny anyone that might be going for a quick plant. Or even if you want, you can go and flank with this guy and just, you know, teamwork this and make sure you're actually like double flanking with him. And uh, you can actually get a trade in case he doesn't win his gunfight. And like I was talking about with Sinister, you know, if he goes and rushes towards this underground spot, you know, if he doesn't want to instantly go towards this and wants to, you know, help out with the teammate, he can go and try and meet up with the guy flanking over here because he's still contesting any quick A push that the teams might have. So what you can do is, you know, you throw your tax. If they're not here, you can meet up with this guy and then start double flanking uh, with him. So you can really use that teamwork that way in case, you know, this other guy wants to stay on the site. So the whole idea of this strat is really just leaving this guy B side alone, putting pressure on the other side of the map and gambling, you know, if they want to go towards this B side, this guy will at least stay alive, get that info and and while that's happening, the rest of these guys can start activating and really, you know, working the other side of the map and pushing through that. So the enemy has to both watch their front and watch their back while they're trying to take uh, this B side. Now, just like every strat, you're just going to have to adapt to what the game is throwing at you. So let's say in MW3, uh, they're going to be trying to push towards this A lane or push towards the underground and they have a trophy here. So let's put that, you know, in yellow. They throw the trophy so your attacks aren't going to do anything while you're trying to rush up this A street from here. So what you can do is, you know, if you throw those attacks and it gets stopped by the enemy team, you can call out to your teammate who might be pushing underground, try and help you out that way. Or rather than continuing to stay in this A street, you go towards uh, the mid side. And now you can start team working with the guy that was in the A site and starting to work, you know, whether it's this lane or whether it's through mid. And now you can call it to your AR teammate who is playing and watching this and maybe taking a different angle and, and really just playing safe over here, but actually continuing to watch the A street from a longer distance uh, with that AR. So you can really adjust and communicate with your teammates like this. So don't expect the A street to be completely free every time like you saw in the VOD. You know, the other team is going to adapt just as well. And they can also just want to push the A site uh, to begin with. But also what you can do is, you know, let's say you're getting countered trying to hit this A street and they just keep going A side. You know, you can call out to your teammate at the start of the round to watch over you with an AR and you can teamwork this, or you can send two guys underground and try and flank them this way. So, you know, there's so many options that you can do. I'm just giving you the basic aggro A side defense, and this is just a basic setup. So, you know, again, like I said before, everything's going to evolve with MW3, with the movement. So this is just day one, what you can be using with your team as you start off with those wagers or tournaments and really just want to grind out search and destroy on this map. And last thing I want to say is, 
again, just make sure while you're playing search like this, you're covering all the lanes. So let's say uh, this underground guy has made his push through and you now have one guy flanking, one guy on the A site, what's open? You know, underground is open at this very moment because you're now playing over here. You can't see anyone that might be pushing any of these lanes underground, either this side or this side. So you have to call it out to your teammate that's playing over here to start watching the underground for you. So, you know, it's, it's really important to just keep those lanes in check and make sure that everything is being watched at that moment. And for this guy back here that might be watching the flank, you know, he will probably get teamwork if they send two guys, especially uh, with this new movement. So it's going to be really hard for him. But if he sees two of them there, that's an opportunity for the rest of you guys to start actually moving, taking some space on the map. Because if the enemy team wants to use two of their resources, two of their guys to flank around, you know, that's a lot of area on the map for the rest of your team to start working with and really countering the rest of their push. So thank you guys for making the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you guys can utilize this once MW3 drops and you can start playing Search and Destroy with your friends and really utilizing strategic gameplay like we saw all the way back in 2010. So hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next video.